What's happening guys? It's Shane here. Another highly requested video. This is one that is a long time in the making. I made a video like a year and a half ago or so where I talked about certain trade careers and ever since then people have wanted me to talk about them a lot more. So today I'm going to be going over the top seven high paying trade careers. Now just like college isn't for everyone, trade careers also aren't going to be for everyone. There's a lot of upsides and downsides to them. Uh, one of the main downsides of course is that it's very tough on your body. Some trade careers are tougher than others, of course. And I went into a lot of detail on why that is in my other videos that I've made in the past. All you have to do is type in like trade career Shane Hummus on Google or just type in trade careers on my channel and those videos will pop up. You can check those out. But let's jump right into it right after you gently boop that like button. Number seven on the list is going to be aircraft mechanic. And they make around $64,000 a year. But one thing I will say is all of these numbers are likely a lot lower than they are in reality. One of the main reasons for that is a lot of the time people in the trades get paid in cash. And because of that, it's not necessarily the same as getting paid you know, with a direct deposit into your bank account. And so with the ways uh, where sites like BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics here in the United States, uh, calculates how much someone gets paid, it's going to be a little bit different if you are in a career where you handle a lot of cash, right? So these numbers are likely a lot lower than they are in reality. Keep that in mind. It's probably like ten dollars to $20,000 off at least. But anyways, aircraft mechanics, $64,000 a year, that's still pretty good. And I think it's pretty obvious what they do. They're going to help uh, keeping aircraft flying safe safely by performing routine maintenance and repairs. They have to be not only very good at the mechanical side of things, but also the electrical side of things as well, as those two things are very interconnected, especially in aircraft. They'll also spend a significant amount of time inspecting aircraft, a lot more than someone would say if they became a car mechanic. Next one on the list, number six, is going to be an electrical and electronics engineering technician. So this one is a little bit more on the technology side of things, and they make around $65,000 a year. Now, a lot of the time, you are gonna be working under the supervision of someone like an electrical engineer and it's a very hands-on job where a lot of the time you'll be repairing electrical systems but not only that you'll be inspecting them performing routine maintenance and testing them as well next one on the list number five is going to be an electric lineman these are the brave souls that climb on top of the electric lines whenever your power goes out and restore power to the entire neighborhood along with repairing it they also do installation and maintenance you're going to be spending a lot of time outside and you probably don't want to do this career if you're afraid of height they make around $72,500 a year. Next on the list is going to be a health-related profession, and that's going to be a medical sonographer. A lot of people forget this, but when it comes to the trades, there are a ton of really good health-related careers as well, and they tend to be a little less difficult on the body. So medical sonographers make around $74,300 a year. So these are the people who basically use uh, sonograms and ultrasounds in order to generate images that are within somebody's body. So the most common use of this is to tell if somebody's baby is doing well inside of the mother. But there's a ton of other uses to this as well. Very important profession, really well paid as well. Doesn't take that long in order to get into it. In fact, most of these trade careers only take a few years. And depending on what state you're in and if you're union or non-union, sometimes you can go right in and start making money as an apprentice right away. Next one on the list is going to be another health-related career and that is dental hygienist. They make around $76,200 a year. So if you remember the last time you went to the dentist, you probably don't want to but if you remember, you probably spent like maybe five minutes with the dentist themselves, and you probably spent more like 20 or 30 minutes with somebody else, and that other person was likely a dental hygienist. They work under the supervision of a dentist, and their specialty is preventative care. So basically preventing oral diseases. So they examine the mouth for disease, they take x-rays, they perform cleanings. Can be a fantastic career for the right person as well. Next one on the list is going to be a power plant operator, and they make over eight $81,000 a year. And they are the ones who are going to be looking after and managing a lot of the equipment that's used to generate electricity. And there's so many different ways to generate electricity these days. There's solar, there's nuclear, there's coal, there's gas, etc. So there's a lot of different types of power plants that you can work at as a power plant operator. And a very similar career is going to be number one on the list, and that is nuclear technician. Nuclear technicians would also work at a power plant, specifically a nuclear power plant. And they would make sure that the nuclear reactor is operated safely and efficiently so another Chernobyl doesn't happen. So they would obviously be monitoring the equipment, but they'd also be in charge of repairing it as well if any 
anything breaks down. So I hope you got some ideas here. These are some fantastic trade careers that you can get into. And these are just a few of them. There's honestly a bunch out there. And when it comes to the trades, I think, in my opinion, if you can go the owning your own business route, that's probably the best way to go. And there's just a ridiculous amount of demand for people who are good at the trades. I think everything has kind of shifted towards college and now there's a supply and demand imbalance where there's lots of people that can do the jobs that uh, you know you learn the skills for in college. I'm just putting it kind of lightly. And there's not a lot of people that uh, can do the jobs uh, where you have to learn the skills via the trades. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.